Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Missouri-Kansas City Kangaroos and the Kansas Jayhawks. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially if they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Jayhawks are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, don't let that big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Next, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They go into the low block. The point guard takes the feed. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. It's good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to feed the low block. Gets it back out. The point guard takes the pass. He nails the bucket. Watch the replay, Brad. Outside, the power forward gets the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He hammers it home. You better believe that was amazing, Mr. Nestle. This young man's the real deal. He's the truth, baby. I believe, Brad. I believe. What a flush. What a slam-bam jam. What a way to make a statement. Stolen ball. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Way off target. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. They work it around the perimeter. Now the high screen. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? The Ruckus fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the pass. Down inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Strips the ball, fires it down. Looking for a good shot. The center with the ball. Tries for two, and he missed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court on the dribble, gives it up, and up, and he knocked it home. <laughs> A 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He puts up the tray. Great shot. Tries one from three-point land. Goes. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And working around the perimeter. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal strong. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. Buchanan, pump fakes. Looking for contact. Gets it to go. Here's one for the highlight reel. He keeps his dribble as they reset. What a frustration right there. Now trying to feed the low block. With anticipation defensively. I step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barish to go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. They'll work it around the arc. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He looks for the bomb. Way off target. Scorches the net. On the dribble, gives it up. He lets it go. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Good fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They work the perimeter, turns it over. What a great strip. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Harvey is emotionally pumped up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Gave it up. He rejects it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. A 
I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Sinks it. There he is, strips the ball loose. Here they go, into the break. Leans in. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Now he's on fire. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Perfectly executed. The Jayhawks have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Up and inside. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. This guy's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He pump fakes. Takes it off him. For two, he seems determined to take the tough shot. But enough falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's dick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Bryant goes to the line for the first time. Misses it. Makes the foul shot. Whalen pounded on his way up. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, although the underdog holds the lead now, remember, it is very early, and we don't know if they have been in this position before. So we'll have to see if they'll be able to maintain it. All right, thanks, Aaron. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon, NBN. Goes out of bounds. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. First shot is no good. Cashed it in. Working it around the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. 
The Jayhawks have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Stop and pop. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They'll work it around the arc. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. On the outside, he bombs from outside. He buries it. That's a nice looking play right here. Has a nice look at the basket. He launches the bomb, tickles a twine. screen Missouri Kansas City are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby on the outside goes up for two great play to take that to the basket Double team on the top of the circle. Oh, yes. From right at the circle, great execution. That's all offensive efficiency at its best. From beyond the arc, sinks the shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. And one too many dribbles and a steal. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Ball goes out of bounds. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent for guards up there. Yeah, that helps. He's got a nice shot fake. Great shot block right there. And some good movement on the offensive side. Way off target. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Kansas have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Hard foul. A 
the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes it. Up and inside. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Working it around the perimeter. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. In the paint. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. He does the sweet fake shot. For the bucket, they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. For two, doesn't go. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Gets it to fall. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nice fake. Puts it up, looking for contact. He drains the shot. There's a double team waiting there. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. In and out. For the bucket. Two for one opportunity. Gave it up. They work it back to the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Check that out. He's pulling up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. I like it when the team gets to the free-throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Good defensive pressure. Head right on the ball, drive them to the spot you like to take them and then beat them. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Drains the shot. At the end of the first half, the Kangaroos are behind by three. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? Watch here. Pounding the ball inside like you see. In this highlight, we'll take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Kansas was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blissful, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job the end of the door of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because at the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did earlier. Great play to take that to the basket. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Two at the charity strike. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. The ball goes out of play. He's got a high post flasher on the dribble, gives it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He gets the rejection. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the ball handler. Trying to draw the foul. Kansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of play. Right. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Foul charge. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? And a momentary look from three-point land. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Picks off the lazy pass. Tries for two, and he missed. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's thrown salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. With the freebie. his second shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. High post flasher is open. He makes the block, and the ball goes out of bounds. Got a man in high post. For two, perfectly executed. away the pass moving it around the perimeter wide open for the he swatted everything out of the air including the other player and they come with a double team to stop it he draws a foul the Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple He'll visit the charity stripe. He hits it. Now they'll bring it up. He shoots. It sticks. pass in the paint controlling the ball top of the circle it'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there that young man is doing it all for his team right now he's a one-man show at the moment he can't get any help from his teammates oh what a strip Rad. and has it rejected defense did a great job with that blocked shot Great shot. Gave it up. Intercepted. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. 
Got the shot if he wants it. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Up and inside. In the paint. There's a high screen. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Sinks it. Ouch. Screener took the worst of that one. Look at that spacing. Jumps into the defender. He shows the sweet touch. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. He comes away with it. It's a fast break possibility. He got the bucket and the foul. Hey, the foul in the act couldn't stop him, baby. He wanted that bucket. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Mark jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Picks off the pass. Working it around the perimeter on the inside. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Isn't it great, Brad? Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, the favorites are in shock. Players are just shaking their heads in disbelief, and the coaching staff, they're just looking for answers out there on the hardwood. He sinks them both. The Kangaroos are down by eight. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Ball in the paint. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. perimeter and we got a whistle and a foul he'll go to the line misses his first shot a less than stellar performance I'd say at the line tonight less than stellar you too nice a guy Brad they're shooting horribly from the line tonight it's his second. Big time screen set on the defender that time.
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the six man for no reason. When you're talking about the Big 12, people often mention Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma. Yeah, Brad, they do. But it'll be interesting to see how or if the recent coaching changes will affect the style of play that the Big 12 is known for. Moving it around the perimeter. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feet of the post. Lobs it, leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Picked off, gave it up. The fake. Turnaround jumper, they still don't score. Goes up for two. That's an eight nothing run. Steals a pass. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. Just about ready for play to resume. On the dribble, gives it up. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. He attempts the three, makes it. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. He's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. They'll work it around the arc. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Gave it up. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. On the outside, with the fake. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He drains the bucket. From way outside. Goes in. He wants a three. He nails the shot. Looks like the defender's a little bit tired out there. This is no time to be tired. Get a sub if you need a break. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Can't get the shot to go.
fake. And now the fadeaway jumper. You talk about versatility. There aren't many guys that would make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch. Impossible to block that shot. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Nice high post screen. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. On the outside. Entry pass in the he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He is going to the line. Hits that one. They work the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Stolen away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Double team now, bad angle. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The Jayhawks are ahead by 16. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. Here's a double team. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> For two, perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's a three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He unloads a three. He gets the bucket. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. And the fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. I'll tell you, uses the ball really well, too. In terms of putting it to the deck, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He 
intercepts it. In the paint. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. We'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the three ball, sinks the shot. at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. They work it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Kansas is in the bonus. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Gets his second. Marshall slowly performance has just gotten in his head. He's got to snap out of it. His team needs him. On the outside. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. The layup is good. Plummer has fouled out. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Just like in practice. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Sinks the shot. They just keep rolling along, Dick. We kind of expected it would go this way, and they came out on top of the ball game. I'll tell you, they always find a way to regroup whenever things are getting really tough. They regroup, and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Kansas simply blew this team away tonight. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.